Hi Leo, welcome to your general forecast for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Leo, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could be general, it could be love, it could be about anything. So we're just going to take it as it comes. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. And please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus. Um, it could be past, present, or future. If it's not fitting for you, then it's probably not your story. But please don't try to make it fit. So welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. So Leo, let's see what's going on for you at this time. For this general forecast, like I said, could be about anything. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings. Links are below in the description box for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is in the description box as well as pinned to the top comment. And um, another way to tip or donate, if you're not comfortable using PayPal to tip or donate, it's during the premieres. Super Chat is open right now, so if you want to tip or donate in that way, you're more than welcome to do that also. And if you do, thank you. So let's see what's going on for Leo at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign element planet. So we're going to pull one of these, and it could be somebody around you. Um, if not, totally fine. Um, and then we're going to use this Oracle here. We're going to pull one for our opening message, one for your current energy, clarifying that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at an actual situation for you, what you may be going through right now, advice, possible outcome. And extra messages with this oracle so leo leo spirit please what energy could be possibly around leo at this time spirit thank you so much one card for leo take that one <clears throat> and we have air so you could be dealing with an air sign libra gemini aquarius if not totally fine maybe you have heavy air in your chart, but ear is all about ideas, uh, communication, mental clarity, um, thoughts, everything to do with the mind and communication. So something uh, could be here about communication or conversations or having mental clarity of some kind, ideas, thoughts. So let's see what's going on. For you, Leo. So let's get one for an opening message for you, Leo. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. If my cards will shuffle for Leo. What is an opening message for Leo? What do they need to know at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Opening message for Leo. Okay, that's your message. Huh, and this... Making a choice. This just came out for Virgo. I just did the Virgo reading, and this was the second card that came out. Now it's the first one for you. So there may be a choice that you may need to make in your life right now. And we do have 30, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. How it could have to do with making a choice in your career or switching or changing careers. But there's two paths available for you. And it's up to you what choice are you going to make. So you may be at a crossroads right now, <clears throat> needing to make a choice or a decision. Um, for some of you, I'm feeling it could be about your career or your work or something like that. We'll see. So let's get one for... It's like getting... You may need to get or mental clarity on what decision you need to make. So let's see what your energy is like. Well, education, there you go. So we have 35, which is eight, which is about travel, action, communication, putting in the work. So some of you may be in the process now of trying to decide whether or not you want to go into <clears throat> something totally new for you, but there is a learning process involved in some way where you need to either go back to school or take online courses or seminars or what you know whatever you need to do um, to get the education that you need to make a choice 
to maybe go on a different path in life. Could be career, could be anything. Wow, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Deep freeze. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of stuck. It could be something here, 26, 8, again, 8, again, which is about, again, like I said, travel, action, communication, putting in the work. Deep freeze, it could have been something that you've wanted to do for a very long time or maybe, you know, way back you started a pro this process, but then you put it on hold and set, had to put it off for some reason. Life, whatever happened, it could be years and maybe you just kind of let it go by the wayside and said, well, I guess it's not, never going to happen. But now you have this opportunity where you're like, hmm, maybe now I can pick up where I left off. You know, maybe wherever that was frozen in time, I could pick up where I left off and I'll further my education or, you know, get back into it so I can make a decision in my life to go in a whole new direction. It's like gaining that mental clarity now with the air energy. It's like now is the time. Now I can do this. I put it on hold long enough. It's me time now. And now I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. All right. So, and you think of the deep freeze, I mean, <clears throat> kind of reminds me of air, you know, uh, that air energy. And air energy are the air signs. Air signs in the tarot is swords. Swords represents winter. So... How fitting is that? <laughs> so let's see. And we have like this, um, <clears throat> well, I don't think it's a stork. It looks like a crane or whatever that is. But storks usually bring in news of some kind. Uh, let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this energy for you, Aries. Uh, Aries, I'm sorry. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Maybe you need to take <clears throat> we take control. Yeah. Because whatever you're planning on doing here will lead you to your Ten of Pentacles. Total growth, abundance, success, victory, long-term stability, happy home and family, providing for the family or yourself or whatever here, never having to worry, having all the abundance that you need. <clears throat> this will lead you to your Ten of Pentacles. All right, so what else here for Leo? Three of Wands. So you've been, yeah, you've been waiting. <laughs> Three of Wands is about waiting for your ships to come in, just waiting for the right time, waiting. So I feel like whatever you put on deep freeze and waiting to pursue this again or whatever here, now is the time. No more waiting. I feel like this should be reversed. No more waiting with the Three of Wands. No more. Go after your Ten of Pentacles, Leo. All right. So what else here? Oh, that's way too many. Let's get a few more. Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, feeling, you know, juggling around the idea. You know, do I pursue this once again? Or do I just leave it in the deep freeze and forget about it? Or... Like looking at the two pentacles, do I leave it or do I continue where I left off? Like looking like the broad perspective. Wow. So we got the two of cups. So this is about coming into alignment with what is meant for you. With the two of cups energy. This is like your soul finally being aligned with its purpose and having that peace, harmony, <clears throat> contentment kind of energy. Now, the Two of Cups, usually in a love reading, talks about soulmate union and soulmates coming together. But I feel like in this case, it's you finally being able to come into union with your life purpose, what you feel like you've always wanted to do. Finally, it's aligning up for you because we have now the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning. Uh, from the ace all the way to the ten, growth, abundance, sta stability for a lifetime, built on a firm foundation, built from the ground up. All right, so let's get one more, one more for you, Leo. Eight of Cups. So yeah, this is you walking away. 
from things no longer serving you and going after your Ten of Pentacles. So whatever you're doing now, whatever path you're on now, I feel like you're walking away from that and you're walking to what you left in the deep freeze. You're going and you're taking it out of the freezer and you're thawing it out and you're going to make it happen. <laughs> that is like the weirdest analogy I ever got, but hey, Spirit wanted me to say it, so... So... And you may not truly see how it all worked out with the moon energy there, but... You know, the fish is also about abundance. So let's see. Let's get your actual situation, Leo. Kind of says it all right there, but let's see. The three of pentacles. So teamwork, again, three, three. And I had felt that. Teamwork, collaboration, working with others, learning something new, mastering a craft. Uh, so you definitely could be learning something new, maybe working in a group. Um, going back to school or online education or seminars or whatever, you know, doing what you need to do. The hermit. So yeah, you might have took a minute here to really think about this. You know, do I want to pursue this once again? Do I let it lie? Kind of energy. But I think you came to the realization, especially with the sun there, you know what your happiness, and you do represent the sun, Leo. So that's like you finally going into hermit mode and thinking, contemplating, you know, what do I want to do here? And then finally realizing what your happiness and joy and your soul purpose is. Now is the time to go after it. Seven of Pentacles, again, a card of waiting. Again, you've waited. And you went in hermit mode and you analyzed, you assessed the whole situation. You know, what did I already invest? What more do I need to invest going on this path? That will lead you from the set the three to the seven to the ten. You get the ace three, seven, ten. So you may be able to skip steps and just go boom, 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 and it's gonna be quicker for you than you thought the moon and I felt that <laughs> the moon and I had said that so spirit confirming that that you may not see the path clearly you don't know exactly what's going to happen <clears throat> but the owl here is very wise you know it's a wise decision it's the best thing to do you're a little uncertain unclear exactly how the path will work out how it will go you know but you have deep feelings and emotions about this Kind of energy all right so what else for leo in the stars so this is divinely guided energy wow the moon and the stars wow divinely guided energy you know faith hope optimism wishes and dreams coming true you know and there's the pearl there's the prize so you're going to your prize, to the Ten of Pentacles, to having, you know, pearls. <clears throat> wow. Divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes of dreams coming true. Wow. So let's get advice for you, Leo, the Emperor. So, yeah, and I had said Aries at the beginning. Spirit made me said Aries, and I had no idea why I said that. Here is Aries with the Emperor. So the advice here is, and I had said that, maybe you need to take finally control of your life and be that Emperor. Maybe some of you want to be an entrepreneur or something like that, or be your own boss or start your own business or whatever here. But this is you picking up that wand and taking control of your life. What else for Leo? strength and there you are leo wow wow so wow <laughs> a lot of majors here so you do have the strength courage determination the willpower the fire the zest everything to pursue what you left in a deep freeze 
it is divinely guided for you with the star energy. You're questioning that because with the moon, you got the moon two times here, and you're questioning it. Well, gee, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling a little disillusioned. No, this is divinely guided for you. You do have you do have what it takes to do this. That's what your advice is, what spirit wants you to know. <clears throat> and I just had a card go flying. Hold on. And we have, yeah, we have the queen. Wow, the queen of pentacles now. So, and this is almost like the empress energy. So we would have the emperor and the empress. You could be male or female watching this. Doesn't matter. King or queen of pentacles. Doesn't matter. So somebody who is, could be their own boss, could be very smart, uh, analytical, practical, you know, they know how to make things grow and, and have abundance and be stable. So there is the Queen of Pentacles and not having to worry, having her pentacles there and just kind of rolling in the mud and having a good time and knowing all her pentacles is safe and she has everything she needs. Wow. All right, so let's get one more. This is your advice that you do have the strength to be this emperor or empress and be that king or queen of pentacles. Wow. All right, Leo, Leo, one more for your advice. Ace of Swords. So this is like divine energy to me. Wow, spirit. Wow. So the Ace of Swords, when I get the King, Queen, Ace, always reminds me of divine energy, divine intervention, trying to shed light, clarity with air of the situation. And it's also a brand new beginning of success, victory, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, cutting away things no longer serving you. Open, honest communication, having mental clarity, epiphany, that you can be the emperor and empress. You have the strength to do it, and you can be the king or queen of pentacles that you want to be, Leo. Wow. So let's see. This amazing reading for you, Leo. What the possible outcome could be here? So we have the knight of swords, so quick action, taking quick action. In the Knight of Cups, feeling like peace, harmony, love, compassion, like I'm ready to move forward quickly and I'm ready to have peace, harmony, balance, love, compassion, feeling fulfilled and moving forward in all that action. And then you have the Four of Swords. So this is about rest, rejuvenation, retreat, thinking, contemplating. So you may, you know, this may be a lot of work and you may have to, you know, take quick action kind of energy. So we have a lot of like fast paced action. So I feel like it's going to be a very busy time as you're moving forward and taking out of whatever you kept in deep freeze. And now you're moving forward with a lot of high energy. And don't forget to rest, <laughs> rest, 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 I feel. You may be so excited about now um, <clears throat> this that you may forget to take care of yourself. So Spirit wants you to know, don't forget to take care of yourself as you're moving forward here. Getting like a lot of excited energy for your future. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So we have one, two, three, four... No, we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. We don't have the Knight of Wands, but a lot of action here. But this is also the slowest moving knight. He's very smart, practical. He calculates every move. <clears throat> and he makes very wise decisions. And he moves very slowly. So watch your energy. Follow your gut, your intuition. You intuitively know this is the best thing for you. And you may not be telling anybody. This can be like a secretive kind of energy about your plans. But this will lead you to the Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment in your life in every single way. Happy home and family. Eight of Wands, again, fast action, travel, and movement. Queen of Swords, again, that divine intervention coming in with the air energy, with truth and clarity of the matter. <clears throat> but being indecisive for a time, but finally making that decision to having stability in your home life celebrating and being very stable in your home 
So for the other signs here, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, let's see here. We have Cancer, Pisces. We have Aquarius. We have um, Virgo. Let's see here. We have Aries, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Leo, which is your energy, <clears throat> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So those are the other signs I see. So let's get some extra messages for you here, Leo. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Those that reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but if I did, I'm sorry. Um, all that support really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. And <clears throat> in honor of 10,000 subscribers, which I have just reached about a month ago, I'm having a uh, tarot deck giveaway along with a free 20-minute reading by me of your choice. So if you look in the description box, the top comment, there'll be a link. You can follow that on how to enter the contest so feel free to check that out and if you do thank you it's open till the end of March I'll close it April 1st and then I'll pick a winner so if you're interested go check it out if you do thank you and good luck to you and also Leo if you're new and you like my style how I read um, check out my channel you like what you see feel free to like share subscribe comment and hit the bell you won't miss out you'll get uh, five readings a month two love two general and a bonus so Leo let's get some extra messages for you Leo. Well, we have decorate here. So five, which is about change. So maybe you need to change. You know, it says you may be making this big change in your life. Maybe it's time to redecorate your house to change everything about your life so that everything seems new is what I'm kind of getting with that. Kind of an odd message, but hey, it is what it is. All right, and I'm getting the song You Decorated My Life by Kenny Rogers, so I feel like this journey, this change is really going to give you, maybe it's going to give you the pentacles to redecorate your whole house to uh, the way you want it, you know, feeling more comfortable and uh, proud of your home. So let's see, <clears throat> we have Clean Up Your Mess. 37, which is 10, which 10s are about endings. One is a new beginning. So there's a new beginning waiting for you here. And whatever, you know, path you're on now, whatever your life is now, you may feel like it's a mess, <clears throat> but this is telling you to clean up your mess. So clean it up and move forward in this new direction. Oh, accept love, 39, just 12, which is three again about teamwork collaboration. So I mean, this could be about accepting somebody's love offer to you, if that makes sense for you. Um, or this could be accepting, you know, like love, like helping hands. Uh, maybe if this is a big, big change for you, if people are coming in like loved ones and they're wanting to lend a helping hand and, you know, help you in any way, you know, let them accept their help. Could be as simple as cleaning up your house or redecorating your house or whatever here. You know, if people want to come in and lend a helping hand, I would say let them. Any other messages for you, Leo? Rebel. So I just got this also for Virgo. So maybe people won't be expecting this from you. You know, maybe, you know, you do, do the same thing day in, day out. You've been at the same job for years and years. You know, you don't really do anything out of the ordinary and all of a sudden, boom. You do something out of the ordinary and decide to have this big change in your life. And people are like, what? What's going on here? You know? So three again. So that's a lot of threes here. A lot of threes. And we have let go and flow. Exactly. You see the rainbow here for luck, happiness. And 27 is nine. So nine is, again, that independent energy. Uh, which is a dreams coming true kind of energy. And nine is almost at the completion. And then it would be 10 is the ending and then one new beginning. So 
And then uh, Spirit show me, give yourself the best. So you deserve to have the best and give yourself the best. And I think by letting go and going with the flow and, you know, doing here what you need to do, what you feel like you have to do, you have all this abundance coming in for you, Leo. Wow, Leo. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.